Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Pedro Plays and this episode 8 of our Football Manager series. In this episode, I'm going to cover a few more games of our season, uh, as well as show you some of the tips that I've picked up over the last month or so. So kicking off first of all, um, just with a, a little tip to start us off with, this is something that I actually discovered today. And I've known that uh, you can get different skins for Football Manager, you can download some fantastic skins that have been built um, by different uh, you know, different Football Manager players. Uh, but actually there's some skins that are actually built into Football Manager that really changed the look of it, I quite liked it. Sort of found it a little bit by accident, I was actually just changing from window mode to full screen. Uh, to do this episode and then I noticed this up here here's a drop down and I noticed that you know at the moment we're set to the football manager one which is you know got a lot of green on it uh, but I saw this dark and light and I'm going to show you the light first of all just to show you what this one what this one looks like you see here very very bright but totally different look to it um, don't mind that one so much but I think that um, you know it can be a bit bright to be honest um, so I quite like this one here Football Manager dark theme. So if we reload the skin and look at that, I think it gives a whole new uh, sort of feel to the uh, to the game. And um, yeah, I'm quite quite impressed actually how sleek it looks. Uh, so I'm going to keep uh, this theme for a little while. Let me know in the comment section below um, if you use this theme or if it, you know still use any other skins. I'd be quite interested to to maybe have a little look at some of those and, and play around with those in, in future episodes. So as you can see, our first game of this episode uh, was against Port Vale. And uh, if we jump onto the match, I can uh, sort of review it for you. Uh, so you can see, unfortunately, we did lose 1-0. Um, it was a little bit frustrating, to be honest. We got so many shots on goal, um, but just couldn't break the deadlock. And, you know, they even got a player sent off, off on the 78th minute. I really sort of chucked everyone forward trying to get a goal. Um, they then got a player injured, and they'd already used all their subs. So down to nine men for the last 10 minutes. Uh, but we couldn't break uh, the deadlock there. Um, let's have a little look at their, their first goal here. Go. It was Alex Jones that got on the score sheet for them, and um, as you can see here, just gets played through. Not much the goalkeeper can do, and then that was it. That was the one goal of the game. Alex Jones' first goal of the game, uh, of the um, season for for Paul Vale. Um, so was a little bit um, was a little bit disappointing, really, to have um, um, yeah to have lost that one actually. So I felt like in the second game, the second game we played Coventry, and I felt like we needed uh, a few changes. I tweaked the tactic a little bit, not sort of major overhauls, um, but just had a little look at the different player roles. Um, moved um, Bradley Dack to a more central position, and um, yeah, it really, really did pay off. I mean, uh, we actually, you know, absolutely mullered them. Um, you know, similar sort of shots in terms of um, similar amount of shots and similar amount of possession. But I mean, the scoreline um, beating them four 0 uh, at home uh, against Coventry, you know, is a really, really great result for us. And um, started off with the scoring here was um, was Billy Knott. So ironically, Billy Knott actually uh, before the game he had uh, you know sort of chatted to us and was wanting some, some more first team football, was a bit disappointed with his opportunities uh, and to be honest with you I hadn't really given him a fair shot so I promised that you know I'd start him in the next few games um, and he did fantastically in this game, he ended up bagging two goals um, so really sort of you know couldn't have been um, much happier really with um, with his, his contribution. Bradley Dak in that new new role that we um, that I set him for, for this game, I set him actually as a, as a uh, shadow striker. So new play there, flicks on a nice ball to him, sort of hops over one person and then just coolly slots it into the net. Fantastic goal from Bradley Dak and showing why he's worth you know five million in this save is really really good. After that, it was Bradley Dak that added the third again, and um, again this was an absolutely fantastic goal. This one, this is a uh, you know, possibly. Uh, contender for goal of the season um, from a long, long way out, just slots it in again. Shows his quality. I uh, was really, really impressed with with the way he performed in this game. Really, really sort of standout player. It's his third goal of the season um, and really helped us to secure the win. Uh, and then uh, up stepped on the 54th minute, up stepped Billy Knott again, the guy that I promised some football to. Uh, he steps up and just you know makes it turns it into an absolute triumph from us. 
can just get spoiled. Edge of the box, another great finish, low and hard into the bottom right hand corner. Uh, and that was his second goal of the game and indeed the season. And you know, totally justifying putting him in the squad. Um, really, really pleased with his contribution. Uh, Bradley Dak did finish that game as um, as the man of the match, and um, yeah, was really, really happy with uh, with his his input as well. Uh, after that. We had uh, had Chesterfield, you know, after the Coventry game, actually, it did boost us up in the table a little bit. And um, then faced Chesterfield, and um, as you can see, it was another win. It was a 2 1 win. Um, it started off uh, again, Bradley Dak continuing his form on um, 30 minutes. If we have a look at the goal here. Again, the new blade playing a big part in the um, in the build up, but Anthony Gerrard, nice little ball there, a little cheeky finish. Look, look at that, just heads it over the goalkeeper, um, and yeah, just great, great assist from Anthony Gerrard from the back, long ball forward, um, and Zach just gets on the end of it with his head, uh, and that puts us one nil, one nil in front. And then unfortunately, what has plagued us so far this season, it was some poor, poor defending. I mean, look at this, Lelow Evans just to. Roll through there, pass it to Simmons, and then just slots it in. Defence are nowhere, and uh, you know they go and they go and score, and then it's one-one at this point. And I'm thinking, is this going to be a game that you know we're potentially going to lose? Actually, after we've been doing so well, I, I sort of see just losing it. You know, one of those kind of games where you just you see it running away. Um, but it wasn't too long before uh, we did get uh, another goal. To put us back in the, the leading position. Again, uh, Burn plays a brilliant ball into Nuble and hits it. Then, arguably, Ryan Fulton, their, um, their goal, he should have done a little bit better there, um, but he didn't. And um, as you can see, Nuble picks up his first goal of the season. He's been absolutely fantastic, actually, last couple of games with his link up play. Um, you know, using his head and, and sort of setting up a few others, or, or you know, really holding the ball up quite well. And so it's good to see him get on the score sheet. Uh, and then after this game, that did leave us actually in the playoff position, um, which was amazing, really, to, to be in, in the shout out the playoff position. Now, joining us in the playoff position uh, was AFC Wimbledon. They're actually one place above us, and they were fifth, and we were sixth. Um, so it was a really great game to be playing them. Uh, unfortunately, the game did really live up to, to the expectations. It was a little bit of a boring game, if I'm being honest. I was thinking um, that you know, I was going to have no highlights to show you for this game. Um, but then on the 86th minute, very much you know, one of the talks of this episode, uh, Billy Knott steps up and uh, he does win the game for us on the 86th minute. There we go. So again, Burn plays the ball in and he just hits it and then yeah, into the right hand side. Great strike from him. His third goal of the season, third goal of this episode. And he gets us the three points, big three points there. Does move us up to fifth in the table. And um, yeah, in the in the playoff places, how amazing is that? You know, I'm, I'm sort of you know, if you if you're a Jills fan know in real life or if you follow league one football you know that we're not in any of the playoff position in, in real life um so i'm very very pleased with that so um this episode i want to take a look at a couple of games here i want to look at um, peterborough we've got peterborough in the czech trade trophy um group o uh, game against peterborough now peterborough are um if we have a little look at the sky bet league one they are first in the sky bet league one um, so they perform really, really well in the league. Uh, so it could be uh, a good game, actually, um, in the Czech Trade Trophy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump forward to the uh, to the lineups so and we can have a look at that. So here we go. This is going to be the lineup um, for Jellingham versus Peterborough in the Czech Trade Trophy. Uh, there is going to be a, a few changes in this um, in this game. I want to give some of the other guys that are on the fringes uh, a little bit of a chance. Um, I'm not going to change things up drastically, but I'm certainly going to include a few that. If you haven't played for a little while, uh, lacking a little bit of match fitness, perhaps, um, or I just think you know deserve a deserve a little chance in the in the team. Um, I've recalled Stuart Nelson, who's um, you know real life is our number one goalkeeper. Jonathan Bond's been playing fantastically, um, but I think it's, it's a good opportunity to give Stuart Nelson uh, a shot. And um, he's in fantastic condition, as you can see here. Uh, Ryan Jackson, I've um, brought him in at right back. Uh, we have been actually having Deji Ostilaja. Uh, a right back and, and he's done a good job um, but again I want to see what Ryan Jackson can do um, in this save and in this game. Got Max Aimer uh, back at centre back there he has missed a couple of games actually for injury 
so it's going to be good to get him back in. Uh, and Anthony Gerrard, obviously, I'm calling him in the back. Uh, midfield, um, centre midfield, I've got Billy Knott, centre midfield. Um, he has been on the left wing, actually. Um, but Josh Wright, who normally plays in centre midfield, is, is not in the best condition, I think, in the last run of games. Uh, he has played quite a lot. He's, um, he's been a little bit tired. Um, and Jimmy Kebe is back from injury. He's been injured for, for a little while, actually. So this is his first game back. Um, so he's going to come in on the left wing. Uh, I might mix that up a little bit and put Frank Nuble there, um, maybe towards the latter part of the game if he's uh, if he's getting tired and not looking like he's going to make the full 90 minutes. Be very surprised if he does actually. Um, another player to come back as well is um, Zelalem, who's uh, you know was our star in the early part of the season. He's with us currently on loan. Uh, again, he has been injured. Um, but he's currently away on international duties and United States under 20s player, so he's away uh, for this game. So, so we're going to miss him uh, for this one, unfortunately. Now, um, just a bit of an update on some injuries we picked up actually during this episode. Um, we have picked up a couple of injuries. We've got Emmanuel Osadebi, who would normally be another great choice in the centre of the park. Uh, he's going to be out for another two weeks. Uh, this guy here, Aaron Morris, again, he was playing on the. Um, uh, the right side of defence and uh, he picked up a very very nasty injury and it's, it's quite a shame because you know, he played a lot of positions a good player uh, for us um, but he is going to be out uh, between 7 and 9 months and he's done that damage cruciate ligament uh, one of the worst injuries you can really get as a footballer um, so he's pretty much out for the rest of the season which is uh, absolutely uh, sort of gutting really because he could have you know, made a big contribution particularly with the amount of different roles that he can play um, but anyway, moving on to this Peterborough game, and uh, we're going to jump right in, and we're going to see how we uh, see how we get on. Here we go then, kick off at the Priestfield Stadium. One of the things I really would like to know is where they got this massive screen from. That is not in the Priestfield Stadium. Uh, yep, typical of uh, you know half the ground being empty in the uh, Czech Trade Trophy. Though that is very much typical. Not really get the doesn't really get the same support. Um, as um, yeah, sort of a league competition. So here we go. First chance, 28 minutes. Again, not popping up there on the edge of the box. But here we go. They break. This has always been a danger for us if the team's breaking. Oh, great. Oh, look at that. Nelson comes in there with a save. Must admit, great. You know, great um, save there. Or, or tackle there, sorry, from Koncheski. Peter over the corner. It's cleared by Aimer. McDonald's gets on the end of it. Now, if he was a little bit faster, I mean, come on. Great chance to break there, but what's going on? Here we are, end of the first half. Free kick to Peterborough, headed away by Gerard. Again, Koncheski there with an important tackle. McDonald plays it to Wagstaff on the on the right. He can whip in a great ball, Wagstaff. Uh, not this time, though. Look at that. It's cleared away. So remember, this Peterborough team is a team that are... Oh, lead in League One, so it's going to be good actually to see how we do fare up against them. I know it's check and track, it's a different competition, um, and obviously we haven't even got our first team sort of playing, we've got a few fringe players, but um give us a good guide to see you know, when we do meet them in the league, how we're going to fare. So far it's been pretty evenly matched. Jimmy Kebe there, he's probably a bit out of um, out of touch, but oh great ball, oh, it's not again, look at that, in the right place there. Even though we've switched his position to, to centre midfield, he steps up and he's got another goal. Look at that. Moved us the first in, in our check and trade uh, league. But um, yeah, Kebe there. Great ball in. Well controlled by not. I don't know what the keeper was doing. Just trying to pick it up as the ball was rolling past him. But um, yeah, we'll take that all day long. So one on the other at the break. So this this start the second half, but to be leading one 0 it's, um, that's Peter Burrow, even in the checker trade. You know, I'm very, uh, very happy with that. It goes to the start of the second half. Can we hold on to this lead? Or are people going to come out of us all guns blazing? Oh, great ball by not. That Wagstaff on the right hand side. He's missed the last few games actually. He just hasn't really been uh, in great form, hasn't been doing much. So he's not really featuring the team, but I thought it's another good opportunity. Bradley's out there with the corner. Might try and take Bradley Dak off you know, towards the latter part of this game, give him a little bit of a rest. Very important player for us, though, so you know, don't really want him, him missing out on any game if possible. Oh no, 
look, here goes that break again. Straight through the middle, man. Good save from Nelson. Great save. Corner to beat Bray right here. Well headed away by not. He's quickly becoming one of my favourite players, isn't it? So I must admit. of the box. Aim it gives away a silly free kick. This is dangerous here. Taylor stepping up for them. Oh gosh, that was close. Hits it into an empty stand though, fortunately. Right, 65 minutes. This may make a couple of changes. Good um, good opportunity to change a couple of things. I'm, I'm going to take Scott back stuff off. Uh, you know, you can see 6.3 average rating. Not really doing very well there. Uh, I'm going to bring... Uh, do I bring Rory Donnelly on? Yeah, I'm going to bring Rory Donnelly on there. Um, for him, and uh, you know, he's going to play out on the right hand side. Inside, let's see some of the others. I did mention to take Bradley Dak off, um, switch him with Billy Knott, and then no choice then but to bring Josh Wright on. So, I'm going to maybe I'll leave that for a little bit. Um, no, Christian Bielek, um, I might let's switch him with Max Tamer actually. Reluctant to bring Gerard off because he's, he's the captain. And, Experience. So, uh, yeah, but I think I want to give Christian Bielek a little run, run in this game to see you know, what he can do. Yeah, let's leave it at that for the moment. Just with these two players, let's give him you know, some, know, some faith in him. Come on, Donald, you've got faith in you. Come on, Bielek, got faith in you as well. All right, let's see how they get on. 66 minutes. If it does the desired effect and freshens them up a little bit. Passing it around quite nicely. Oh, no, I don't like this at all. No. Oh. oh, what was that? Who's going to hit that? Oh, no. Ah, oh, look. There we go. 1 1. Moves us back down to second in the table. Just passing the ball around. The defence were just chasing it the whole time. Finds himself in space, ball breaks nicely to their attacker. You know, just knocks it in from about three or four yards out, so it made it easy for them. Yeah. Is this going to be it? Drop down to the third. So I've had them under 20 threes, look at that. Oh, yeah, of course, we've got the penalties. I wonder what was going on there. Um, penalties, right, this is all pick these. It's going to pick them in the order of who's the best penalty taker, anyway. Here we go, penalty shoot out then. For the extra chance for the extra point here. Donnelly scores his penalty first away. First up, sorry. Come on, why not the penalties? Come on. Come on, Stuart Nelson, experienced goalkeeper. Cody McDonald. Star in the last episode, I think you remember. Edwards, oh, great save from Nelson. Poor penalty, and you know, all honestly, but you know, great, great save there. All right, Jackson. Yes. 3 1 to Gillingham. Paper got their third penalty now. Up steps Taylor. Oh, I thought Nelson was going to get that. Chesky, the grey head warrior, can he get it? Yes, great penalty. Lots of experience. So, four out of four so far, this is looking good. This extra point will be proved to be vital in the end of this group. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Blast it wide. And that is it, we've got the extra point there. So, there we go. Very, very happy with that. An extra point is going to help us in this group. Look how close it is, look. Everybody on four points, well, it's here for Stephen and obviously not picked up any points, but uh, it's extremely close, isn't it? So the next game, we are back in league action, and uh, we've got a treat for the next one. Bristol Rovers, away to Bristol Rovers. They are fourth in the Sky Bet League One, so again, another uh, playoff showdown. A one point ahead of us, um, they've done really well so far this, this season. Um, fancy my chances against them, though, it has to be said. No, I really do think that, that we can certainly match them. Um, so yeah, let's jump on in, let's have a little look at the lineups and we'll see uh, how we get on in this game. 
So here we go then. This will be the last game of this episode. We have Bristol Rovers against Gillingham Railway uh, in this game. And um, this is the fourth place versus fifth place uh, as we are mid-October. Um, so, you know, teams are really starting to, to cement their positions in the table now. Um, as you can see, the, the starting lineup. to be honest with you, I think a lot of players pick themselves, um, particularly with the way that uh, they've played this, um, this episode, particularly players like Billy Knott. Um, in here, you've got Bradley Dack as well. I mean, they've been some fantastic players uh, in this episode. And the new player I'm going to stick with up front. You know, he's really linked up the play quite well. Players, have, he's brought the best out players around him. To be honest with you, Whilst, you know, he's not been getting on the goal uh, on the scoreline too much himself. Actually, he's, he's really brought the best out of the players in the rim, um, and that can only be good if we're if we're getting goals, um, creating chances. So I'm more than happy with that. Uh, we've got um, Gedeon uh, Zelalem. He is uh, he's back from international duty. Uh, admittedly, still, you know, he's not in the best uh, shape actually. Um, Certainly, um, well, actually, his condition is not the best. His shape is, his shape is 97, um, but you know, he's at 91% condition wise, so he could be a little bit tired towards the end of the game. Um, but he's been fantastic this season, hasn't he? When, when he's not been injured, um, he's been really, really good. Um, so, we're going to get him in this game. We're going to see how we see how we get him. Um, we've got Anthony Gerrard again in, in the uh, centre back role, um, he's going to be captain inside for this game. So, let's jump right in. So, here we go, kick off. Pat Bristol Road for the stadium. Starting off with a, a, a slightly injured player. Is that Matty Taylor? Uh, let's have a little look. Matthew Taylor, yeah, he's, he's in a play before. Here we go. Can we be uh, the Pirates Bristol Rovers? Certainly hope so. It puts in fantastic stead. We can really cement our position in the playoffs, that's for certain. Bradley Dak and Kev A linking up there. Kebe could play a big part if he stays injury free. Oh, look at that. Emmanuel Thomas. Oh, and that's why he's in the side. You know, I was, I was, I'm in an R in as to whether or not I was going to play him uh, on that right hand side. I thought, you know, there's a couple of other options that we could maybe use there. He hasn't done too much in the last couple of games. He steps up in moments like that. Edge of the box, top corner. 1 0 to Gillingham after six minutes. Absolutely fantastic. Great start to the, to the game, this one. Kebe there picks up the ball. And he sets someone up here. Oh, look at that. It's taken out there. Referee. That's a bit of some just fell over. Oh, no. Not this again. Look, they're breaking against us. James, no. Ah. Oh. How many times have we stopped that, man? man? It's cost us so many goals this season, that quick break. We need a sweeper look, just sitting on the edge of the box and mopping up those chances that they get. And, um, goalie, you know. Uh, I don't know if we could have done more of that in all honesty. 1 1. Shame that's be a good game, though. Chris Rovers putting a bit of pressure on us here. In the back. Oh, no. Ah, oh, look at that. Clark Salter, Bristol Rovers puts him ahead, drops us down to 7th position. Can we nick another goal before half time? Bradley Dak with the ball to Kebe. New Blake, yes, he's got it! Great header. Second goal of the season there. 2 2. So that puts us back up to 6th place there. What a header there. Great ball in from Kebe. That's, that's why I've got Nubli up front, you know, big, strong player like that gets on the end of, of these balls and uh, pops up with uh, what could be an important goal. Oh, no, they're breaking again. Oh. Just when I thought we were going to take it into half time drawing. Look, they break again and score against us, but straight through the middle again. for a chance with this one unfortunately. Anthony Gerrard you know, after saying I got him in there to shore things up. At half time though, his half time rating 6.3, he looks like he's really struggling to be honest with you. Um K 
Okay, I've got a choice here, do I? Switch in for Deji Ojalaja, who can also play centre back, or do I bring on another guy, Christian Bielek, who's on, on loan with us? Okay, I'm going to stick with the Deji Ojalaja, um, and maybe bring on Ryan Jackson right back there. He's got a bit of pace. Uh, his condition is very good, though. His conditioning shape is very good. Uh, so I'm going to bring him on. Really need to shore things up, though, defensively. It's been very, very poor. Our uh, team instructions. So they're playing relatively high line. Maybe that's why we're getting uh, get done. Maybe they look to play the offside trap as well. Just sit them back slightly deeper. See how we get on with that second half. Big second half coming up for us here. It's been a bit, you know, fantastic game in the first half. Three two, five goals in the first half. You know, you can't complain with that. It's fans are certainly getting their money's worth, but you know, from a manager's point of view, it's uh, a little bit disappointing, that's for certain. More and more like we're going to end this episode as well, like the last one on a, uh, on a losing note. So they're doing so well, actually, you know, throughout the rest of this episode and the other games, it's, it's a bit of a shame to then lose this one. But it is defensively really, really costing us with the way the teams are just breaking against us here. Yeah, look, there we go, once again. James is through. I mean, it's a good tackle in the end. Recovering tackle from Aimer, but you know, that's still really so far of this season, I think. Some outstanding play going forward. Some brilliant goals. No, but then we go and throw it away, actually, with, um, with the way that our defence uh, just leaks goals in quite sloppily. So that's, uh, that's a shame there. 3 2. Um, I don't think it's going to have too much repairing um, on the season overall. Um, I don't know why I just pressed that. I just praised them for that. <laughs> Cool, not paying attention. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to have too much for bearing on the season overall. It does move us down to six, which is, is still playoff place. Um, but it would have been nice actually just to get a win there. We're now obviously four points away, or five points away from the, um, the very top end of the playoff positions. Um, but, you know, still very early on in the season. If we can sort that defensive problems out, and, you know, we'll be competing up there with the, um, with the real sort of big teams in, in this league so far. Um, so yeah, so let me know in the comments section below. Actually, you know, what, what do you think I should do with regards to, um, to defensive problems? You know, obviously I can sit, make them sit back a little bit, maybe go a bit more defensive. But then is that going to be, you know, at the um, at the cost of our attacking play, which has been very, very good? Do let me know in the comments below what you suggest. And uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, I'm going to be doing a uh, a new feature. Uh, in these episodes uh, and that is going to be our player of the week or our player of the episode um, you know Woods it's come very close actually it's been very very close in this this, um, this episode between two players really uh, you've got Billy Knott who has had a fantastic couple of games particularly for someone that wasn't getting much time in the first team he's really sort of stepped up and uh, you know if it wasn't for that last performance in this game where he ended up getting subbed off early because he wasn't playing so well it might have gone to him but I think for his consistent performance uh, and for his couple of great goals actually he's had in this episode let's be honest I think it has to go uh, to this man here Bradley Dag uh, like I said he's rated 5 million uh, for us arguably going to struggle to be honest with you keep um, to be honest with you keeping him in the in January but he is a uh, is such a talent that she's done so well in this this episode um he's popped up with some some goals and you know really really uh, shown his importance so bradley deck is our player of the week uh, and let me know in the comment section below as well if you agree with that so that's it for this week uh, guys thank you very, very much uh, for watching uh, pedro plays uh, really do hope that you enjoyed this episode it's good to be back on, on football manager um, I hope to do a little bit more episodes in the very near future. Don't forget, if you've not subscribed, to hit that subscribe button. You should see it coming up on the screen any moment now. It is a circle button. Um, so do make sure uh, you hit the subscribe button to keep um, informed with the latest episode. And thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care.